Well, hello from Beardland. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? Thought I'd give you a quick look at what I'm doing here. My little tip for the hammock toe strap hang up. Same toe strap as you. I paid, uh, what was it, Canadian dollars, uh, five, six bucks for one of these, uh, for a pair of these, rather. Same thing with the ratchet. I uh, took it off the ratchet on the one end and I cut it off on the other. Uh, meant to burn that, seal it tight, but I've had no problems in two years with that fraying. All I did was a uh, double hitch loop. Not gonna, not gonna do too much, it's not gonna pull too much. It does slide on here a little bit, but I want it to do that. Anyway, so get a good secure loop with a good knot that you're gonna trust. All you do is whip it around your tree. I'm just doing this in my yard. All I do, feed it through the loop, tighten it up, just like so, and go off camera for a second. Got the end of my hammock uh, tied off on the other side here. All I do is I'm flipping the loose end over top of the, of the lead end or the tied end, whatever you want to call it. Right, I'm coming through the bottom loop, uh, coming through the bottom of the loop rather, and above where it folds, I'm grabbing the strap coming from the tree, pulling it through the loop just enough to get my carabiner on there, cinching that down tight, and there you go. I'm the better part of 300 and some pounds, so I can tell you right now, these things are gonna hold. No issues with any kind of fraying, Stretching, they don't stretch. I haven't had no experience with them stretching whatsoever. And you can adjust this however you want. Great thing is when you pull it off, and I'll show this up closer as well, that just pulls through. So loose end over top, hand comes from underneath in the loop. Sometimes it helps to pinch where it folds over. Reach through, grab the strap above where it's coming from the tree. Pull that little portion of the strap down through the loop enough for you to get your carabiner on it, pull that tight, and you're set. And that's not going to let go. Has never failed me to this day. It's perfect. It's a, it's a fast, it's quick. You don't need to waste money on all these tree straps from all these hammock companies with their preset heights and stuff for adjustment because what's more adjustable than something like this? Absolutely. Greatest little trick I learned. Can't remember from uh, which YouTuber it was, but it was a YouTuber I saw this. I saw do this. It's great, and these straps hold, brother. Um, like I said, I've had no issues in two years with any kind of stretching or anything, and they were they were cheap as chips. So there you go. I'll uh, I'll show that up close now. Okay, buddy. Here's your close up look. So this is the piece that's coming off the tree. There's your strap. I take mine in my right hand because I'm right-handed. Take the trailing edge, or the uh, open edge, open end, whatever you want to call it, flipping it over the top. Okay. So you've got this, right? And you're reaching in from behind through the hole, and you're grabbing the strap above the point where it crosses over, and you're kind of pulling it through that loop. All right, so you see you got it on both ends there. You're pulling it through the loop, and all you're doing is you're attaching your carabiner to that part of the strap, and then pulling that down, cinching it down like so. And I'm leaning back, that's not gonna let go, it's not gonna slip. If you find your hammock needs adjustment, it's better than having straps that have preset loops on them, like some of these hammock companies offer, because, I'm just my camera here, sorry, all I have to do, pull that out, and it's free again. And I can adjust up a little higher if I want. Flip it over, hand through from behind, grabbing the strap above where it's folded over, pulling it through just a little bit, so you can get your carabiner through there, snugging that up. That's it, simple as that. And of course, like I said, they've got a gathered end, my carabiner and I can adjust the height any any amount I want and these straps do hold 
Uh, I've had absolutely no issue, no stretching, um, no fraying yet. And for 10 bucks, even if you get a season out, then you're looking pretty good. I've had these going for two years now anyways, and uh, no signs of any issues at all. This is a great, great little trick for hanging your hammock. There you go. Hope that helped, brother. Be well.